everybody. Welcome back to Just Keep Parenting during the quarantine. <laughs> Almost sounds like a rhyme, doesn't it? Anyway, um, one of my um, one of my viewers yesterday said it looked like my hair was getting long. <laughs> it is. It needs a haircut, but we'll wait a little longer. So I may be what's the what's the lady Rapunzel? No, is it Rapunzel? I can't remember now. So, mm -hmm. here we go. Uh, today's uh, activities for the for the kiddos include some outdoor activities. Miss Whitney's done a great job of researching some activities that we can put together here in this video. And so, it's supposed to be 70 degrees here in uh, Provo, Utah. So, hopefully, it's warm where you are at this point so that you can get outside and enjoy some outdoor activities with your kids. The first one she's got on here is uh, a number game. So, taking sidewalk chalk and in a large area, uh, <clears throat> having the children write numbers. They have to be fairly large so people in that area can see, but just take some chalk and help them write the numbers. There's a great um, resource online if your children are still struggling to write their numbers. Uh, Dr. Jean has a, a video that's called The Numeral Song. If you look that up, it teaches them how to come right down and that is all, come right down and that is all, Come right down and that is all to make the numeral one. My favorite one is five because we have a lot of five-year-olds, but um, down around, put on a hat, down around, put on a hat. The kids really like the hat part. Anyway, it runs them through that. So that might be a precursor to this, to this um, idea. But as the kids have all the numbers written, whatever numbers you decide to go up to, then as um, they yell out a number, the caller, you have to choose a caller, and they yell out a number and everybody runs to that number, right? And then whoever the caller is next, you run to that number. And so kind of a fun way to get their wiggles out, get their exercise in, as well as practice numeral writing. So for older kids, you could do, you know, two-digit numerals, or you could even do some math out there, right? So make it work for the age group that you're working with, that you have in your home and move from there. So that's item number one. Uh, number two that Miss Whitney has put together for us is a readathon picnic. Sounds like a great day to have a picnic. Lay a blanket out in the backyard and have a picnic. Bring along some books to read together after you've finished eating. This can be done inside if the weather's bad, but today would be a great day to do this. I know I had some, um, uh, some of my per, uh, past um, students have been Marco Poloing me, and they have this great backyard and it's got a two level um, tree house. They've lifted one of their old couches up into the first level of the tree house. And I often get Marco Polos from that level sitting on the tree, sitting on the couch, watching the four Scythias bloom. And anyway, it's been fun to see everybody enjoying outdoor time. So have a picnic, readathon outdoor today. A couple of the other ideas that, um, Miss Whitney has posted for us are um, some giant bubbles, right? You can make your own giant bubbles outside. One cup of dishwashing soap, so like Dawn, um, to a gallon of warm water. So one cup to one gallon. Um, add two or three tablespoons of glycerin, right? Uh, these are the kinds of bubbles that we make in the lab school, but you can get it, glycerin at a pharmacy or on Amazon. Um, and that's the secret to super big bubbles is to add that uh, one to three, two to three tablespoons of glycerin. Um, pour your concoction into a flat rimmed tray like a sheet cake pan and dip in a large DIY wand, right? Do it yourself wand made by bending a wire hanger. So just get a wire hanger, bending it into a loop. Um, teach your child to lift the wand slowly and walk backward to make that gigantic bubble. You can experiment with making different kinds of wands with straws, pipe cleaners, even fly swatters. That's fun, we've done that before. Huge bubbles can be made by pouring your solution into a wading pool, right? If you've got a wading pool sitting around and use a hula hoop to make monster sized bubbles. Anyway, that sounds like lots of fun today, Miss Whitney. Um, there's another one. Um, here on, oh, where is it? It's called shadow art. I thought it looked so fun today. Um, 
and I think we could do it with all the sun. So small objects with distinctive shapes, like plastic animals or different toys that you have in your toy boxes, can be placed on a blank sheet of paper, a blank sheet of white paper or any other kind of paper in the sun, and then children can trace the shadows onto the piece of paper, right? So um, laying it outside on the sidewalk, um, and you could even do bigger sheets of paper if you wanted to, but um, I thought that sounded like a lot of fun is to take the shadows and reinforce their small motor skills. Um, you could do any kind of animals, any kind of shapes, any kind of toys that you could use and do some shadow art. Okay, and I want to do one more today, and that's a sink or float. So if you decide to take a walk today, gather lots of items in nature that you can, like little sticks, uh, pebbles, things that you find on the road, uh, flowers, leaves, acorns, right? Anything like that. Take the items back home, talk about which items, so do some prediction skills, uh, which items your child thinks will sink and which items will float. Then the, the cool thing is to be able to figure out, well, if this, is, if this sinks, how could I make it float, right? What could I do to the item? How could I change the item to make it float? For example, um, if you have some aluminum foil that, got, that you found on the road, right? How could you make that sink? By putting a penny on it, by putting a rock, one of your rocks on it, um, do the, wrap the aluminum foil around the rock, see if it sinks, see if it floats, right? So changing the properties of, of the item to see if it can go the other way. Anyway, those are some ideas that you could use for outside time today. Thanks, Miss Whitney, for doing that. Rock on, everybody. Thanks for watching Just Keep Parenting, and uh, enjoy some sunshine today.